Hi, welcome back to my second week of video blogs for 2021. And I'm going to con continue on from the blogs, the video blogs I was doing last week, because I want to explore what I'm about to put, putting in a white paper or have put in a white paper is 10 reasons you should use this framework to embed your changes into your organisation and make sure that they get embedded, that they become part of the fabric of the organisation. They become, it's just the way we do things around here. And the reason number six is often when we're choosing practices or activities to help embed our change is that we are influenced or swayed, if you like, by our own personal biases, our um, own personal preferences and things that keep us within our comfort zone. So I may be really comfortable with facilitating workshops. I may be really comfortable about presenting to, you know, in town halls, but that doesn't mean that those activities are the right ones for every change. So to avoid that bias and being inside the comfort zone and influencing our choice, we have 59 practices to choose from and a structured approach to look at each one as we determine whether it might be appropriate and ask questions like, Does it deliver, will it deliver on the outcomes? Do we have time? Do we have the capabilities and resources? Does it suit the culture of the organisation? Does it meet stakeholder needs, etc.? So that those biases and well, we're stepping in or out of our comfort zone, take backstage, they go backstage and we're choosing things for the right reason. We're choosing the right practices for the change and to make sure that it has the desired outcomes and is a resounding success. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.